morning people, YouTube, world, everywhere, just want to do a little update, update video what's been going on, the half fast workshop I guess you can call it, not really much, change the fuel filter, change that bottom fuel filter, and then the other fuel filter did some additives ran runs a lot smoother but I don't know you guys tell me what should I do with this thing since it's a uh, emissions exempt in California should I just pull this out sell this motor for like two grand because people are buying these or and then throw in an LS or uh, or something else I don't really know what else I can do with it just a little four cylinder diesel I'd have to do engine and tranny if I could even sell it I don't know if I could sell it for two grand or not I was just throwing a number out there but anyway um, it does need a ton of vacuum work I've already messed with a bunch of the vacuum. Uh, I've also 3D printed a couple bushings. Uh, that bushing on the firewall. 3D printed that because that was shot to help. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name I watch, but <clears throat> he does a bunch of stuff with the Mercedes. And uh, he basically went through the whole linkage. The linkage system on this thing is just whack and weird. Like, it goes from the throttle pedal, from the pedal to this, to this, to that, to this, to that, to somewhere else over here. I don't even know. I get confused. Uh, anyway, uh, plans of lowering it, possibly. I do have... This turbo, a little turb ski. Don't know what size it is, but um, guy at work, the guy that bought my truck, he gave this to me. This was on a uh, a car of his, and uh, yeah, he took it off because he didn't want a turbo on the car. So anyway, that's. What I'm left with. Dirt bikes are dirty and not from riding. Audi's been doing good. Got about, since I did this service, about mm, 3,500 miles on it, maybe 4,000 miles on it, and uh, no leaks, no smell of coolant, nothing. Everything seems to be good. Uh, if you notice, Air compressor is not here anymore. I'll get to that in a second. But uh just wanted to clean up the garage a little bit. And uh the truck, fourth gen, having electrical problems with this truck. Security light is on. Truck runs, drives fine, nothing wrong with it. So security light was on or is on. Uh can't figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, then the seatbelt came, seatbelt light came on, and the beeper, um, was beeping at me, saying to fasten the seatbelt, but my seatbelt was on. Checked wiring under the seat to the, uh, seatbelt. Everything seemed to be fine. Don't know what's wrong with it. Disconnected the batteries. Connected the batteries positive to negative, so that it would drain everything. Seatbelt light is off. However, now my interior lights, the dome lights on the top. Uh, everything comes on when you open the doors, but when the doors are open and you click it, click the light, I'll show you. When you push this light here, it goes off. Don't know why. And then when the doors are shut and those lights are off, uh, and you push the button, nothing happens. It's 
So, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, the tip them where all the fuses and relays and all that stuff are. I think somehow it got wet um, from me from me washing the engine. And uh, yeah, I think uh, something got wet in there and probably needs to be fixed. So I'm gonna look into that a little deeper. So as you can see, air compressor is out here. I bought this blasting cabinet. This blasting cabinet. Um, guy paid sixteen hundred bucks for it, plus I think two hundred fifty or three hundred dollars for shipping. And uh, he couldn't figure out the gun wouldn't work. Nothing would work on this thing. So, hold on, I'll be back. I gotta delete some videos. Alright, we should be good now. Um, anyway, guy said that uh, he couldn't get his guns to work. He said he replaced the gun twice. Um, and he couldn't figure out what was going on. So it turns out he was using uh, soda ash for sandblasting, for blasting, whatever, for the media. And when I got it, I picked it up for 250 bucks. Uh, basically, pretty much the way it is. He did throw the guns away. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, so I put new hoses on it. New hose. And then uh, this hose on the uh, meteoring valve. Meteoring? <laughs> meteoring valve? Uh, it's kind of flared to fit the end so I left that there and then ran new hoses with little grommets because he didn't have grommets or nothing in there um, but yeah it's it's pretty big cabinet sides open this way uh, the top opens that way um this side opens too so I ended up buying a, uh, an Amazon gun and did some modifications to it to make it work better and to actually make it work so uh, yeah I got a mess going on out here we'll get to that in a second Anyway, uh, he said it doesn't have, it needed gloves. Um, when I went to pick it up, he said he just put new gloves on it. So, those are brand new gloves. And it does have a vacuum, a vacuum for the, uh, dust. And it's got a light up here. So, you flip that switch, lights come on. Um, I'm not going to turn it on because it's kind of loud. And my lights are up there. It's just two uh, fluorescent lights. And then we have... Uh, there's a filter in here. There's a big old vacuum system. Anyway, uh, what I found when I bought it... This is the media I'm using. It's just coal. Black diamond abrasive product. It's just uh, coal slag, I guess. And, uh, yeah, let me, so what I found, the problem was in this whole thing was that the meter valve was completely plugged, like jam-packed with that, um, soda ash, there's a piece of it right there, it was just basically a rock in there, so that was, I'm assuming that was his problem. He had uh, the valve shut, so that's your little valve to control how much media goes through, because it's kind of like a vacuum. So the gun, the air goes through, and then the media comes up, not, not on this valve, but on the gun. So the gun, I'll do it up here, air goes through, media is this way, so when the air goes across, it pulls the media like a vacuum and out the gun so if you don't have air it just chokes it out so that little screw right there you can see in the little 
hole right there. I got a little bit of an air, air gap there. So anyway, so that was completely plugged. Everything in there was plugged, the whole thing. So I just took it off and just basically chiseled it away. Um, but yeah, for the most part, everything everything's good. Works good. Um, sorry, the wind, which is why I haven't, I haven't been recording because it's just been windy. Um, the whole... I don't even know, past two months. Um, I might go in the shipping container. Uh, but yeah, so, once I get out of the land, I'll tell you the rest of the story. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I, uh, come on, door. Freaking doors are heavy. rock in the way all right so for that uh yeah the guy when i went to pick it up uh they loaded it in the back of the truck with a forklift because the thing weighs i don't even know i think it's 375 pounds dry empty um so yeah so they loaded in the truck, everything happened really fast, like quick, quick, quick. And, uh, <sighs> yeah, just too much going on. Anyway, um, loads it up, everything's good, whatever. I go to give the guy the money. So the guy ended up wanting me to give him a uh, $100 deposit on Zill. It's a phone app, a bank app. And uh, I told him, no, that's crazy. I'm on maybe 20 bucks. He goes, how about 50? I was like, no, it's still too much. I said, I don't mind losing 20 bucks, but I, I don't want to lose 50 bucks. And he's like, oh, I'm not like that. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, all right, well, I don't know you. So 20 bucks, or you could just sell it to whoever. Because I guess somebody was coming to pick it up the day before I wanted to pick it up. So anyway, he agreed 20 bucks. Sent him 20 bucks, he took it off, offer up, and, uh, um, yeah, so I go down there, so I gave him 20 bucks online, and I go down there at 230 bucks, give him 230 bucks, and he's all, oh, what's this? I was like, well, it's 230 plus the 20 is 250, and he looks over to his wife, I'm assuming, and says, hey, you put it up for 250? She said, yeah, you said 250. And, and he said, he said, oh, I did? I thought I said a lot higher. He's like, you know, I paid 1600 bucks for it, right? And she's like, well, I don't know. And it was, by this time, it was already loaded in my truck. And I was like, well, what do you want to do? You want to unload it or what's the deal? And he just looks at her and he goes, no, whatever, it's fine. Just take it. It's already loaded. And I was like, all right, cool. Because I was trying to beat traffic. It was a Friday. Anyway. So I left. So I'm assuming that he probably meant to tell his wife more because, you know, it's it's a $1,600 unit. If you want to know what all that noise is in the background, it's I'm 3D printing. So, um, but yeah. So he, I, I'm assuming he wanted more for it um, because I saw a couple other ones that were like it. And, uh. They were going for about seven fifty to a thousand dollars used. So anyway, and it holds one hundred and fifty pounds of media, whereas like the Harbor Freight one holds, I think fifty or seventy five pounds, or, or actually sixty pounds of media, and uh, they're about half the size. So I figure for two hundred bucks, it was or two fifty was well worth it. Um, I spent thirty dollars on the gun and then I spent about another 40 bucks on the hoses, the hose clamps, the fittings and then I spent, I'm not going to tell you guys where I got the media but I bought some media on Amazon because Harbor Freight was completely out of stock um, so I spent 44 bucks for 50 pounds so 88 bucks for 100 pounds 
before I realized I needed 150 pounds. And uh, all I can say is I way overspent on Amazon, and I wish I would have checked a couple other places because um, I found it way cheaper. But anyway, um, so the other day I went to the store and bought three bags of it. So now it's got 50, 100, so it's got 200 pounds of media in it right now. So anyway, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this fine. For 250 bucks, so let's say, so 330 something bucks. Let's call it let's call it 400 bucks with the media and everything so 400 bucks I think it's a better deal than getting the Warner Harbor Freight because if I were to get the Warner Harbor Freight it's 180 bucks right now and because Harbor Freight is being certain type of people they're not giving discounts or the coupons like 20% coupons you have to be insider tra inside track or whatever they call it Anyway, um, yeah, so there being those type of people, because of the tariff taxes and who knows what else, um, so let's just call it with tax, since tax out here is 10% basically, um, 180 bucks plus 18 bucks, 200 bucks for the cabinet, plus $88 for the media, so that's $288, and then to upgrade it to do anything, you have to do the meter and valve, which is 50 bucks. So let's call it 325. And then uh, the light situation is junk. Um, a couple other things on the on them are junk, and then they're like sealing them, which I have ton of caulking. So um, and then a dust collection system. So the dust collection system they sell at Harbor Freight. I think you can get it for about 175. So right there puts us almost at 500 bucks or more. And the cabinet is half the size. Only has the side doors that open. Doesn't have the top that opens. And uh, yeah, so I think I scored pretty good, pretty good deal on this. Um, but yeah. And then last weekend I went with the kid that bought. I bought my truck, the 2012. I went with him. He picked up a Yamaha uh, YXZ1000, basically a Yamaha side by side off road toy. So he bought one of those. Um, he got a pretty good deal. It's pretty clean and it has a turbo. So um, yeah, that might be my next. That might be the thing I'm looking into getting. Is a side by side here pretty soon. Um, preferably, I would like to get the Yamaha, but I can go into all that later. But basically, I'd like to get the Yamaha because it actually has a a transmission instead of a belt a belt drive system that, frankly, I don't I don't trust. So anyway, uh, yeah, basically, it's what I've been doing. I've been printing off these. So these are grips, California compliant grips for a block of metal. So you can see it's just a block of metal I have. And uh, yeah, basically it goes on like this and it gets rid of the pistol grip so that you can have it on your block of metal. So anyway, um, been printing some of these. Print them out. It takes about seven to eight hours. I tried printing this. This is a uh, buttstock, non-collapsible buttstock. However, the print is failing. I think it's just too much. Or I think what happened was I didn't do supports. So. I was supposed to do supports everywhere and I just did supports on build plate. So let's say this is the build plate. Um, it built a support down here because it sits 
flat like that but I didn't do build supports in here so by the time that the nozzle got from here to over here it was already cooled um, but yeah anyway so that's another another fail print so I'm just printing those the California compliant dealy bobs so that uh who knows what I'll do with them I don't know I gotta look into seeing if I can sell those or not um, if I can't legally sell them obviously I won't sell them but if I can sell them maybe I will start printing these out on two printers by the way I have two printers I have three but the third one it doesn't do what I want it to do so even even though I upgraded this whole system right here um, this one's just gonna go on a back burner As you can see that's the speed loader printed those two printed printed uh, about four of those it's a wheel for a uh, shop press for the jack um, anyway the camera's getting hot so anyway this is a speed loader magazine goes in there and you just load it so I'm gonna get out of here because this camera's getting pretty hot gotta get into the cool area I also did a swamp cooler yesterday. Swamp cooler on top of the roof. That was fun. Kid bought it. Um, bought it for us because he has air conditioning in his room. Anyway, must be nice. So anyway, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go do some stuff I gotta do, and uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Sorry it's a long video, but it's just been what I've been doing. All right, see you guys on the next one. Stay there, stay, stay there, stay true, stay real, and I'm blind. All right, see you guys later.